is the crypto lightsaber back with another video guys so i'm gonna do an update on avarice avarice whatever you want to call it and um yeah i haven't spoken about this in a while um not even since they launched the busd version of avarice um i did take a position on um the busd version however i wasn't intending to so um the first couple of days i literally didn't go in all right guys and then on the third day I noticed there was a lot less uh, BUSD going in. If you see day one and day two in excess of a million dollars, almost two million dollars on day one, almost one point five million dollars on day two, and then day three was literally about thirty percent of that. So I decided to go in um, at the last minute, literally with just what I had in the wallet, about one thousand eight hundred dollars, and I managed to get eleven thousand three hundred and ninety-seven tokens. If I would have went in on the first two days, I wouldn't have got as much. Um, so, you know, I feel like I got a pretty decent deal there. Um, and as well, based on the performance of the first one or the mechanics of it, I knew that dividends weren't going to be paid for the first three days. I mean, in this case, it was for the first four days because of uh, the issues that they had on day one where they had to kind of relaunch the thing. Um, but i um, glad I didn't have to sit through any of that. And we will take a look at the dividends on that. But one of the main reasons I didn't really want to go in on the BUSD version is because of uh, my experience with the BNB version. Okay, guys, I am in a profit on the BNB version. But um, for me, it's just not significant enough to, uh, if I gauge it on, you know, my experience with the BNB version, it's just not significant enough for me to sit my BNB or my BUSD or my investment in and just wait for the return, okay, guys? Because I think the best way to make money on this platform is going to be playing a long game. But then there's, you know, in a bear market, we just don't know whether they can continue momentum. All right, guys. So if you look at my metrics for the BNB version, I went in with 38 BNB overall. Okay, guys, the bulk of that was done at the beginning, DC A and in, and um, I did get in from day one on this one as well, and you'll see a bulk of the rewards, the dividends are paid out in the beginning because it's there's a lot of hype, and um, you know you get a bigger chunk over those first three days, um, and the uh, the ROI is paid out or the dividends are paid out um, in a short in shorter spans of time. Um, because let's say, for example, you know, uh, the first three days they pay out over the first three days of dividends, for example, right on the 10th day, um, the dividends are rolled up and paid out over 10 days, for example. So, uh, you saw that, um, my, the BNB that I put in is about 38 BNB and I'm sitting at 49.6 BNB all time divs, most of which has been collected. Okay. Um, it's ultimately about 52 oh no that is what i've collected okay so i'll put in 38 i've collected 49 okay um very small amount of referrals i'm not a referral a, ref, a referral whale um but you can see i've still got some bnb to collect um from unmatured state if we hide the finished states you see there's about two or three bnb left to collect um 2.6 bnb which is um, can accumulate in after be restaking tokens and, and whatnot okay guys so if we do 38 bnb um minus the 52 bnb right we can see exactly uh what i've made in terms of profit so 14 bnb okay guys so in terms of this having been around for for longer than a month now um to do to let go of uh you know 38 bnb to make what was it 12 14 bnb profit um is a profit a profit is a profit at the end of the day but um yeah that just impacted my decision to go in on the um on the busd version i thought you know there's other places i can kind of put that and basically even like in something like drip and get my dividends daily rather than having to wait for my stakes to mature and so on and take advantage of the dividends and reinvest those into other things. So I decided not to really take full advantage of the uh, the BUSD version of Averice. Uh But yeah, I did go in on day three and I managed to get some tokens 
um, which I showed you already. So I got um, 11,397 tokens for about 1,800 bucks. And so if we look at the dividends right now, um, I got in on day three. I got a very small amount of referrals, 67 in referrals. Um, you can see we're on day eight right now. My my stakes end on 18, we're, we're looking about 20 days, 20 days. You know, uh, I'll put like 14 day stakes on, I believe, if I remember correctly. You can see this ends on day 17. So this was the, uh, the big stake where I got 11,000 tokens, which ends on day 17. So approximately another nine days. Um, and I'll be able to to claim this, all right? But right now you can see it's made about five hundred and thirty-seven dollars. So if we, what was it about eighteen hundred one eight three two? If we minus, if we just minus the whole lot, five hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Okay, um, I'd still need to collect another one thousand two hundred and fifty-four dollars just to get our ROI. So the hope is is that by the time these these days are up. Um, I should get a full ROI and maybe a little bit of profit. But, um, you know, if you're making like 10%, you know, even a 20% profit, a profit is still a profit. But, you know, I don't really want to be in something for like two weeks just to make a 20% profit, for example. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm not, I would never complain about profit at the end of the day. The aim is not to lose money. But um, is it worth the risk? Um, you see the volume is dropping off. Okay, like I said, first couple of days was super hyped, super pumped. Um, these guys have got a big job ahead of them to keep momentum up, All right, guys? And I say that because of the market that we're in right now. Okay, guys, um, everything seems good. It looks good at the beginning, but time can paint a picture. Okay, guys, I'm not saying it's not going to be bullish and it's not going to continue to, you know, get uh, tons of investment in. But you can see that um, day by day, the amounts that are coming in are decreasing. Apart from yesterday, they did a little bit uh, better than the day before by about $4,000. But ultimately, it's seeing a downtrend in volume on this project, which is more or less inevitable. All right, guys. So uh, I do believe I will make a full ROI. But um, yeah. The profit potential is not huge at the moment. And like I said, I didn't get in on day one or day two at the end of the day. Maybe my numbers would have looked a lot better if I did that. Um, so the lessons we learned in that is that uh, the later you get in, the longer you're going to expect to get a full return on your investment or a good, a decent return on your investment. Playing a long game, if this can continue to you know pull BNB in, or sorry, not just BNB, BUSD in, over like let's say for example a 12 month period and your state for like uh it's 300 days isn't it if you stay for 300 days um there's potential for you to make a profit but it's delayed gratification because you gotta wait 300 days to collect your dividends unless you do decide to sell your stake so yeah that's my thoughts on avarice i'm not going to be going in um any more than what i have done already literally just collecting dividends and restaking tokens so um yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just on to the next one. You haven't got to commit to any platform. Don't fall in love with these projects. Um, make gains if you can make gains. And um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on Avarice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.